We're diving into the fascinating world of AI language models, specifically the renowned DeepSeek coder. You may have already heard about this incredible open source coding based language model, which is considered one of the best available. With a whopping 67 billion parameters in its advanced model and an additional 7 billion in another, DeepSeek coder has been trained from scratch on an extensive dataset of 2 trillion tokens. What's truly remarkable about DeepSeek Coder is its exceptional performance. Not only does it outshine Llama 2's 70 billion base model, but it also stands toe to toe with GPT 3.5, a well established language model. Moreover, it demonstrates impressive results when compared to MOE's new AI model, Mixtral. The capabilities of DeepSeek Coder have caught our attention, and I have some exciting news to share. Recently, the team behind DeepSeek Coder has launched new tech reports and introduced a brand new model that directly competes with GPT-4's coding capabilities. This development promises to elevate the coding experience to new heights. Join me as we explore the latest advancements in DeepSeek Coder. Let's dive in. So in here, we get started with our GitHub link for the DeepSeek. And also they have an official page for login into their website using their large language models. Now in these videos, we are going to try both of that method and you can see the links are going to provide in the description below. You guys can check it out. Now first we will check it out their GitHub uh, page and scroll down and you see the introductions here. So they claim that they are better than the Llama 2. 7 billion base models so their base model currently is 67 billion parameters base model but then their performance for coding for asking the ai to create programming code for you is better than llama 2 right now and we will test that mainly for this ai models and we are going to try it out the 67 billion parameters based models this is the chat based models that they have different safe tensors files here and uh, actually we don't need to download all of that and they have some other graph that's showing their performance here and the evaluation result is pretty interesting for this one uh they comparing with llama 2 right now with the human involvement they are outperform almost double of llama 270 billion parameters with their deep seat llm 67 billion parameter base models which is 72.7 and the uh, lambda 2 is only 28.7 now this is very interesting how come they can have less parameters but then they can outperform in the human involved patients and also in the high school exam of the national high school exam in here they have the logics of this and everything combining together with the score of this examination they are outperformed the chat gpt 3.5 models and is very close to Claudius 2 and GPT-4 mark in about between 84 to 85 marks here. So Claudia is the second best for the examinations. Obviously, we have saw this in many research paper and that is very interesting for this one. And then the new Metamatch Marshall 7 billion parameters language model. They are not even close to the deep C L L M right now. It's below 80 marks in this examination score. But then, yeah, uh, we will try this out with coding and programming and see how they work. So here's another chat that's showing the evaluations of the instruction following of all this language model right here. And chat GDP4 is currently in 79 marks, almost close to 80 marks for following the instructions of our text prompt input. Deep CLM 67 billion parameters are the second highest one, but then it is well compared to GDP4 is a very long way to go. It's only in the 79 compared with 59 score. With following evaluations and other score, they are pretty much out past the GPT 3.5 turbo models. But then it is way under the GPT 4. So obviously they have a long way to catch up with GPT 4 turbo in the LeetCode weekly contest. And this contest is going to be a lots of evaluations and then all the benchmark. And below here, we have the standard benchmark of overall of the deep seat LLM with their 7 billion base model, 767 billion base model chat as well. So yeah, right here, they are all showing the performance of the tokens, how they are going to do 
in the line chart here. So let's go to the practical side of using this one. Now we are going to use the LM Studio to run this large language models. Uh, LM Studio is very easy. All you did is just download systems versions of this LM Studio. So for me, I'm downloading and install the Windows versions and just click install and finish and it will bring you to these screens here. Um, now you can search the larger language models name on this search bar in the beginning and then you can get start to download this. Now in their DeepSea GitHub page, they have uh, lots of different models. Now don't get mixed up. We are going to download the DeepSea Coder uh, 7B Instinct version 1.5 or the coder 67 billion parameters base models. So either one, you can download it and both of them work. But then right now, the official DeepSeed AI in the LM studio, they cannot search in the result. Right now, from my day of recording, the showing is not compatible right now. Well, I think uh, they are still in the well, just need some time to wait for the refresh. But then Lone Striker and other developers are already convert this models into uh, converting this model into GGUF file formats. So you can download the other developers released model with this one. And it's very easy. Uh, just click this download button and then you are once it's ready and then you're ready to go. And uh, in the meanwhile, we're waiting for the models download in our local installations. So we can go to DeepSeek official site. Now I will provide this link in the description below. You can try it out. So first of all, they have the chat models and then the DeepSeek coder. So this time we are going to test out their DeepSeek coder models. Now this is the 67 billion parameters in their website. So we can do some experiments with that. Maybe just try to write something to create simple Python coding in their website. So one of the very easy way to do that is ask the coder to create a script to search and analyze and then gather all the information for me in one single Python script. And firstly, it will provide a very brief outline of every functions in the Python script. But then some of them is not going to be correct. You have to keep twisting and then keep optimizing the code with the AI in here in the chat. And each one, you got to tell him, okay, when I want to do the search, I want to set the provider as the DuckDuckGo search provider. Then it will eventually create the script and edit the existing Python script of the AI created using the DuckDuckGo search script and also connect their API, something like that. And then they will be gathered the result, the search result from DuckDuckGo. And in here, in this example, they will create a list of this and then store the list of uh, data in the CSV file. And once we save that in the CSV file, it will display the result in our screen. So next step I will have to instruct the AI to do is write a CSV file. And I want to connect this information to my local LLM studio using larger language model to analyze my data and then eventually digesting this content. We will create a blog post or articles about the data that we have searched. So right now the Python code is creating and then as you can see, it is opening the file's name uh, from the CSV file and then it will read through each of the line in the CSV file, generating a report and gathering. But then all these functions inside uh, as the deep C AI highlighted in here, the analyzed data with LLM, they have not created this one yet. This is a placeholder for these functions. So when you keep making the coding with the AI, you have to instruct him what kind of steps you want to do next. One after the AI created code for you. Well, I mean, this is pretty normal common sense since uh, the AI doesn't know any detail of your system or what kind of software you want to build in the first time. So eventually you have to provide uh, more instruction or more detail through the chat history by giving the feedback to the AI models and then how the AI models can help you to modify the code or add more functions in the Python coding. So right now we are going to specify the local host and then specify uh, port numbers that is doing for the LLM and then tell the AI to create functions in the Python to connect this local host and a specific port number to send those data to the large language models and then analyze those data and retrieve the result back 
from our large language model analyze it. and although you can see this examples here is pretty general and some of the functions is still not built yet it is just like this model said all this is what we call building a skeleton of each function and then inside those functions we still need to write code in this one and we have to keep instruct the ai to keep writing the code in details and what do we want to do next for uh, the software or the python code that we are creating right now but most of the coding the syntax um, i'm not really into the python syntax but uh, the logic of that is pretty makes sense that the deep sea coder do understand what i'm trying to do and then it's creating all the functions to read the search result from DuckDuckGo and then passing all the data into a CSV files and send it to the large language models to analyze the data and help me to create an article in the blog post. So this can be very handy stuff and also can be assigned to the AI to do this for our daily operations, any daily tasks in our job, in our companies, we can leveraging the AI models to do that for us. And I think this is a pretty cool tools that we can applying in our business. So let's go back to our local install in our LM studios. So in here, I just download the language models of the coder versions, the deep sea coder. So I'm downloading the 7 billion parameters only because it consume a lot of storage in the local PC. So I want to just test it out with the 7 billion parameters at this moment. And then I'm trying some script with the 7 billion parameters comparing with the previous one that we just test is the 69 billion parameters. And obviously you can see 7 billion parameters. They are kind of not in the benchmark. And of course, because less parameters, their data is trained less. And you see the reply is not quite what I expected compared with the previous one. So at this moment, uh, what I think uh, we should use on is using their official site uh, the deep sea official site coder with 67 with the 67 billion parameters version that will be the very ideally one for us to really creating code with ai and i cannot say at this moment the world can be no coding for developers or programmers well ai are helping us to write code shorten the time of development costs but then we still need developers to monitor the coding and then get involved into the gpt and instruct the AI to help us to write code and fix some code if the AI do not understand what we are trying to do. So that is it for today's tutorial and I hope you get some inspirations from it, how we can use AI for our daily work and business, applying into our business especially. This is something that is really evolving uh, in this age. And I think, yeah, we will test more AI models. We will test more AI models large language models and also the AI agents that's very interested in and we'll test more of that uh, review more of that in this channel so I will see you guys in the next videos uh, have a nice day